I carry credit card debt. Student loans, credit card debt, and car loan debt. Dealing with just credit card debt. $27,000 in debt as of Saturday. But I guess maybe around $20,000. I have approximately $40,000 worth of debt. I'm Rona Chalabi and this is Full Disclosure from Bumble. Financial debt. Even though seven out of 10 households in this country have some form of it, it can still be really hard to talk about. Unfortunately, because debt is such a huge part of life in the US and because it has so many ramifications to someone's life, be it when they apply for a mortgage or their ability to have a child, I think sometimes when that information isn't disclosed, it can feel like there's not total transparency there. And to be honest, I think that's one of the reasons why people hesitate to disclose it. I think people worry that it might make them a less desirable partner because it can affect so much of your life together. In the beginning of the pandemic, I was laid off from my job and I freaked out. He saw my flip out and he was unsure of why my flip out was what it was until I explained to him. And from there, we were able to discuss. My fiance addressed debt with me like the first night we met. <laughs> it's never an easy conversation, you know, as a single dad working or not working because of being a parent, you tend to develop some debt. I've had this conversation with one person <laughs> that I dated month four, five. Potentially like third time sleeping with the person, you know? This person I'm consistently gonna share my body with, so perhaps I'm going to talk about this with them to see if we're on the same page about how we wanna live our lives. My education cost me $100,000. Fortunately, a portion of that was through grants and financial aid, but of course, um, another portion of that I had to borrow. Average household debt in the US is $115,000. It's a huge number, and that's partly because it's made up of things like a mortgage or a loan against your car. So of course, these numbers vary in America depending on things like age, race, ethnicity, geography. But what you see when you're looking at these numbers is they're pretty consistently high. Average household debt across the country, across various groups is a high number. Living with debt makes me feel incredibly irresponsible because rather than just paying it off and being smart with money when I was in my 20s. I was very frivolous and thoughtless. It's something that is in the background that I can never get rid of. I try not to look at my debt as a part of my identity as much as the world wants me to. You are constantly being kept away from certain opportunity because this is your number. <laughs> you are based on a number. It's 567, 650, 800. All right. I think the devil on my shoulder is um, the pressures of society, the influence of what other people's idea of debt is and how bad it is. But then my angel, my own perspective is saying like, hey girl, it's just debt. I'll deal with it. It's gonna happen, no stress. One piece of advice I give to people is that rather than taking the first expensive date option, definitely offer alternative solution dates. I remember going on a date with a guy and him suggesting us go to a place and I wonder if I had to pay for it. So then I brought it up to him and was like, hey, I'm kind of like, not trying to spend so much money right now because I want to pay off my debt. Can we just like maybe like share a burrito because I don't want to eat that much and then go for a walk after? That was my suggestion. He was totally down for it, which was great. When I disclosed, you know, that I was around $20,000 in debt, I saw kind of a, a distance grow in her eyes a little bit, but I managed to get her back by talking about my plans of how to, of addressing that. I, I think that because things came out so early on, our first date, uh, that it, it set us up for our future success. And in eliminating the toughest conversation that I probably have had on a first date, maybe ever, I believe that that put us on that, the right trajectory to put us together still.
and gonna hopefully get married in 2021. I think debt is still stigmatized because poverty in this country is still stigmatized. People believe in the American dream and they believe that if you're not wealthy, it is because of some fault of your own. That is a complete myth and a lie, but it's still one that is culturally resonant with a lot of people in this country. People can get into debt for all kinds of reasons and there shouldn't be any shame around that. Understanding the reasons why you got there can sometimes be helpful for figuring your way out of it.